Welcome to XXW Sunday Staff Fest. This is Jack Hoffman, and I'm back for another day, another week of commentating here. So anyway, we have a triple threat, and this is whoever gets there's a special rule. This is of course a loser fire match. We haven't had one of these since we debuted back on the uh, Inferno. So anyway, we're gonna have Sammy. And Sammy will be versing Jawa. And also, we're going to have our XXW chairman, Dratsev. Uh, Greg Dratsev Huffman. He's going to be in this match. So you see Jawa coming down to the ring. And, um... Oh yeah, and the special rule is... It's not... If only one guy's, like, going to lose. Like... I mean, they're both going to like, get a loss if they... Uh, whoever d doesn't, uh... Catch the pinfall, but... Whoever is, gets pan submitted, why, uh, whatever... He's the one that gets fired. The other guy doesn't get fired. So it's about surviving here tonight. Even if you don't get the pinfall. I mean, you still want to get a win on your record. But <laughs> as long as you don't get pinned, you're happy. And that's kind of like why Drats up want to get involved. He, he, he's the one that booked this here. He, he said he wants to fire somebody. You know, he wanted a match. And, he, and you know, he... Chris, he got fired. I don't know what the hell would happen to XXW. But I don't really see that happening. Because... I guess we get a new chairman, right? But, uh... All, all he's gotta do is survive. So, I don't think... You know, the other two guys, I mean, Joel is pretty strong and all. But, Sammy, he's had some bad luck. He, he, but, Dressup, he's really out of their leagues here, so he, he really has no problem being in this match. Alright, match kicks off. Looks like Sammy's already going for that Sammy Chin music, but... It, 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 you know, and, uh... It looks like Dressup is sitting back and letting him fight. Uh, he's just taunting. It looks like he's just taunting to it. Uh, posing for his fans, right? He's going on each side of the ropes. He's uh, posing while Sammy gets uh, Jawa into a figure four. Uh, Alright, let's see. Jawa, I think he actually has a over 50% record here in XXW. I know he's beat... Well, he won a handicap match, too, when he gets scum back with the help of Scorpion. Uh, in his debut against uh, Philip Nyman, he actually lost that match. But uh, then he beat uh, Philip Nyman and uh, the two anti-stabbers in a Loser's Fire Battle Royale. So, actually, he has experience in that Loser's Fire Battle Royale. So, who knows? I, I don't think he's going to get that. I doubt he's going to be able to pin Dratza, but maybe he can pin uh, Sammy. Here. And I'd say Sammy has the... The worst chances here. But then again, if, if Dress have uh, Huffman Horrors, Jawa, he could pin him and then, and then instead of Sam. So, I don't know, this could go. Well, it looks like they're double teaming on Dress have here. Dress have gets out of the ring, really bruised, I guess. Oh, it looks like Jawa rolled up schoolboy Sammy, but uh, I think he saw Dress have coming and broke it. Sammy going back to those legs. He will, I think instead of going to the legs, he should focus more on the arms because, you know, Jaw was known for his clothes on. Alright, well, Dress up. Looks like he's punched on either and Sammy gets him while he's focused on Jaw. Uh, Sammy, of course, hasn't had too much good luck here in, in XXW. But. He's only won one match, but maybe he, well, like I said, even if he doesn't win, he could, all he's got to do is survive, and at least he won't be fired, right? A lot, a lot of chaos going on there, right? but uh, Dresser goes for the uh, leg tackle. Uh, oh, fuck, I, I just called that. Oh, oh, oh. Jawa uh, comes back with a power stone. I was going to say, I, I think I missed called that back on that Bobby match, too. That same uh, uh, leg clip, that's it. What? The? Oh, dress up his uh, baseball slid in the Sammy, and he, he slammed in the Jawa. See, that's, that's how pro dress up is, man. He, he's a real veteran. He can, he knows how to take advantage of situations like that. He just baseball slid and took both out, uh, both Jawa and Sammy out with it. That's the experience of dress up right there. He knows what he's doing in there. He, 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 oh, it looked like Sammy was going for another uh, Sammy machine music, but he, he didn't connect with that. I don't think. 
Looks like great uh Grass and Huffman's going back through those legs. Oh what what's going on here? I think Sammy's signaling he's signaling for the Sammy Chin music. Dress is just taunting. As long as he's not gonna get hit with that, I guess he doesn't care. Oh wait, uh Dress grabs uh Sammy. Oh look okay, he was going to Sammy Chin music, but uh Dress up intercept with an A. Oh shit, Huffman Whore. He just hit his Huffman Whore. That's his new ver oh shit. It looks like he's doing Oh but Jaw reverses. I was gonna say, that's his new Huffman Whore. He used to use that sit out uh Uranagi type uh elevated STO move, but he changed that move up. He didn't he said he didn't want to use that move anymore, so and he changed it back to the uh, double underhook face buster. Oh, but uh, Jawa threw Drat set out. He knows, he, I guess he knows he's not going to get the pinfall on him, so he might as well focus on Sammy. And he gets Sammy in the front headlock. But Drat comes back at the clothesline. He, and he's, he's stomping away on Jawa. Kicks him. Oh. He's going for a uh, butterfly suplex. Or, well, no, I don't think it was really a butterfly suplex. It's just like a double underhook suplex. It looks like he's going for a twisting three force of a turn and neck burger. Sammy going to work on his legs. I guess they're both focusing on his legs. It's going to be hard to walk, but I, I think they should focus more on his arms, like I say, because he can go for those clotheslines, he can knock him out with those clotheslines and put that jaw out of death on. What, 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 what's that? Jaw of death on. Hmm. Uh, Jarrett says he's pawing away. I think Sammy, uh, he's, uh, he's getting ready to hit that Sammy Chin music. He's pumping up his legs. Here he goes. He just got the Sammy Chin music. He, he's got those deadly kicks. Oh, but Jarrett said he's going for another huff and huffing whore. And yep, he hit it huff and whore. He could just, he, he, he kicked Jawa, it looks like he's going to pin Jawa. Jawa just suffered two uh, same machine music, this could do it. And it's over, it looks like, well Jawa's fired, he's out of XXW. Sammy survives. Sammy didn't win, you know, but hey, at least he still has a job, right? Well there you have it, the chairman, of course, he's, he's a professional, he knows how it's done. He, he, he saw that Sammy was going for Jawa, he let him do that, then he nailed Sammy, I guess. Well, I, I, I guess Jawa caused more problems for him, so he's kind of pissed at Jawa, so he actually turned around and pinned him. Oh, and of course, there's no match for uh, anniversary. It'll be Hothead versus Norman. Norman will be the dead union, of course. That should be interesting. Of course, I hear Drax have pretty good friends with Norman Jean, uh, so he wanted to sign him for a good friend of But anyway, it looks like Neil Jason takes the, the great D. Of course, great D. Uh, this is his first uh, XXW match signing contract. He had a match two weeks ago in the EWA Tribute Show, but he was just representing EWA there. Uh, when he fought Bad and Aaron, I mean, they both tied. Universe continuing match. There's, oh, well, Neo Jason was also there, Jason Bone. And he's defending. Uh, no, he was in a tag match, I think. Hellman Waffles. Versus backstabbing. Well, here we go, the great D. This should be a pretty good match. Um, I'd say Neo Jason really underdog here though, but hmm, I can't. Well, he he's he put up a good fight against Nibber and had uh, I'd say four or five star match against Nibber in that Hell in a Cell. So. If he, can, if he can survive against Snibber, he, he might be the great dude, or at least take him to the limit. It looks like he went for a drop kick, but he just didn't take him down. Great D's is a big guy. He's like a movie star. He's a business guy, movie star. He's uh, he's big, man. He's He's got a lot of uh, reputation up post, so he looks really good. But it looks like Neil Jason using his speed. So he knows he knows what he's doing. He uses his speed to get things done. Flying drop kick. Mr. Drop kick. Oh, he, he looks like he missed time that drop, and then Great D comes back with those punches. We saw this last week. He, he, he has like strong kind of boxer punches. Where he just he kept, got him caught up on the rope. That'd be illegal in boxing, but here it's all illegal. Yeah, just nailing he's back and forth with those punches. 
Uh, but Neo Jason comes back with another spinning neck, uh, kind of like a wrap around. Hell, fuck it. He, all right. Anyway, he's got him in a figure four headlock with his feet. Of course. Grady makes it back up to his feet, though. Neil Jason goes around and puts him in the hand At least he's, he's being smart about this. He's using the speed instead of just going uh, face to face with uh, Great D and like the punching, grappling, kind of thing. Of course, I don't know much about Great D, so he's only had that one match and it was a tie, so I really don't know uh, what Great D has to offer. I know he's, well, I've seen a few of his EWA matches. He's, uh, I think undefeated. Or, well, he's not undefeated. He's just never been pinned. Oh, but, uh, looks like, uh, Neo Jason was doing something, but they did reverse that and throw him over. I think he's going for octopus stretch or something like that. Hey, great D back those punches. See, he's got some strong punches. He's beating the shit out of uh, Neo Jason. He knows what he's doing. Rip a whip from against the ropes. Flying close now. See, he can fly too. Maybe not as good as Neo, but he still has to be ready Of course, Great D coming back with some punches again. Nailing the shit out of Neo. He's not, he doesn't even, he didn't even try to go. I think he might have gone for the pin there. Oh, but what's this? Oh, Neo reversed out and then went with a snap now. Picks him back up. Oh, he's going for that, uh, super, oh, fuck, what the, what's it called? Sunset foot, super sunset. Kind of like a sunset foot bomb, but Neo goes for the pin here. Almost a two pin. I think he could have, maybe, I don't know if he would have had him, but that fucking slow rev really ruined the turn right there. He could have at least had the two pin there, I think. Anyway, Neo. Oh, it looks like he's going for. Oh, but Great D comes back with that big knee to the face. That had to happen. Another diving, flying clothesline thing. Great D. Looks like he's going for a pile drive or power bomb. Right? Yep. Some other power bomb. Some other loves power bomb. It's power bomb. Yes. What's this? A suplex, man? Yep, suplex. Vertical suplex. Uh, some kind of Irish whip kind of knee combo he's doing right here. Anyway, let's see. Fine. Well, oh, it looks like he's signaling to the fans. Maybe we're just posing away right here. Let's see what he's going for here. I think this, this is that's a twist ending. That's what he calls that the twist ending. <laughs> One, two. Well, we've seen this before quite a few times over the past weeks. You know, like I said, he's got a reputation. He wants to show how dominant. He looks like he's going for another twist ending. What's this? Oh, but Neo Jason reverses out and comes back to the on. Looks like he still has some energy left on I'm surprised he uh, has this much energy after just taking a twist ending. And he comes back with a job kill. Of course, Neo Jason, um, well, he's really been the underdog in all his matches. Oh, he comes back with a big kick. But he's really the uh, underdog in all of his matches. He's fought Nibber. Uh, he's fought Mars, too, at uh, CAW Underground. He lost that match, but he had a broken arm, so I think uh, he can make that as an excuse for him, too. Anyway, it looks like he's going back for the legs. Let's see. He uh, beat Bobby and Dretzab last week, but, well, two weeks ago. But that was only because they got this qualified. I, I wish to see, I'd like to see a rematch that match. Just go on, uh, like... A full match of that. So, I mean, what the hell is great? I think Great D's feeling a little bit woozy. He just fell over. <laughs> yeah. All right. He's going for. Looks like he's going for a side slam. But oh, but uh, Great D went, he got the ropes. Neil Jason going for the Neo run in here. It looks like. Oh, but Great D turns into a power one. Looks like Great D is going back to those side slam. Working on the back of Neil, it looks like. And he goes for another side slam. Oh, but Neil comes back, another roll up. Uh, this could be it right here. It looks like he's got him. Two. Oh. 
the, he just got pinned. I think that's the first time in history that Greg D's been pinned. Wow, that's crazy shit. Well, I guess he underestimated Neo. I mean, he, he got a robot. He had him beat. But then, uh, he's not, he, he can't be happy about this. This is the first time he's ever been pinned. See, in the history of the way that's what I've been told. Never been pinned before. Crazy shit, man. Well, Saxon versus Nibber. It's our main event. It's going to be for the chaotic title. That should be a good match. Saxon, of course, only had that one match where he hit the no joke and beat Kenny Sick and he, but Kenny has since been fired. He, uh, he got fired because, well, he had some. <laughs> he, he was kind of an asshole backstage, so. Drats have fired his ass. He also wasn't exactly popular with the so, you know, no big loss. He was extended on anyway. Well, anyway, anyway, back to Saxon. He's only had the one match. Never, uh, I think he's got eight wins, one loss. Uh, so, not looking good for Saxon. But I think Saxon might actually be taller than Never. Don't know if he's stronger. I, uh, I, I mean, you'd think maybe because uh, Saxon was a big guy, you'd think Never would be the underdog, but I can't really say that. I mean, for a guy, he has eight wins, one loss. And, Saxon's kind of a wild card. I mean, this match could go either way, really, because we don't know much about Saxon except for he does have a win. So, I guess you can say he's undefeated, but hardly a streak he's got. Anyway, in the match, Saxon looks like he, he just knocked uh, Nibber out, or at least down, because punches. It looks like Saxon is going through some kind of push or something, but Nibber went around and went for a bulldog. Of course, never uh, at the EW Tribute Show, he took on Miffin, the chairman of EWA. Of course, EWA right now is taking, is on a hiatus. So they'll be back soon. Uh, in fact, the thing about having an XXW versus an EWA pay-per-view uh, called Wargasm. Of course, we don't, uh, no set date for that, and we don't know if it's going to happen. It's just hopeful thinking. So, more details on that as that comes along. Anyway, Nibber going out of the ring. Well, like I said, this is a hard match. He probably wants to get those weapons ready. Saxon, well, I'd say I don't know if he's a hardcore wrestler or not. Well, actually, I don't because he's only had that one match. So, well, Saxon took the fire extinguisher and hit Nibber with it. Just kicking him down. Saxon, of course, uh, kind of famous guy on Game Facts, you know, the whole joke account uh, ordeal. But, no. He, one thing's for sure, man. He's... Strong motherfucker, and you don't want to. I mean, you may call him a joke account, but this guy. I mean, from what I saw last time when I saw him facing him, he's no joke at all, no pun intended. But, uh. Yeah. I, I, hope, I don't think Nimber's gonna take him lightly. Like, Nimber never takes anybody lightly. Like he, he knows. He, he goes 100% each and every time. So he's just choking him out. Picks up the big man. He's got a lot of strength, even though Saxon's taller than him. I think. Oh, uh, weighs more, outweighs them too. Uh, never, like I said, not the underdog. Really. They're about, I'd say they're about even in strength, so if you go either way. Looks like Sexton's going for that twisting, uh, some old, well, more, not really twisting, I'd say more about a skinny some So this is Saxon's second match in XXW. He's already getting a title shot. He's the lucky guy. Oh, it looks like he went for over, kind of a, a sidewalk slam. Well, elevated sides, uh, sidewalk swing over the head. Man. Oh, well, never, he had him tied up in the ropes, but never came back and started chopping him against the ropes. Oh, Saxon flies over the top rope after a uh, shoulder, uh, shoulder attack. Never back to that uh, baseball slide. We saw that earlier today, taking out Sammy Angel and the drafts that did And then we see it again. Oh, but uh, never comes back at that trash can. So far, never, of course, using all the weapons. He's, he's a hardcore guy. He, he's got the hardcore title, and since he got it, he's he's learned hardcore wrestling. He knows when to use weapons, and he knows how to use weapons, and um, he's pretty efficient with it because he, he's eight and one in hardcore champion, chaotic champion. But that's our hardcore belt, of course. Uh, 
and the rules of the Hard Eye the Championship. It can be defended against anyone. It can be defended at any time. It can be defended against as many people as you want. Like, he could have, hell, like a hundred people in the ring all defending against Nigger if they want to do that, but we don't have that many superstars. That would be a hell of a match, you know, I think about it. Maybe like a hundred man Royal Rumble for the Charlotte Tide. See if they defend or survive that. Uh, Nibber, he's, well, he just slammed Lou's head into that steel poly. He's got a heart like a bitch. Uh, looks like Nibber's going to want a signal for that show slam. Looks like he's got a, well, he's picking up a trash lid. Looks like he set up a little pile. Maybe he wants to choke slam, uh, uh, Saxon. Uh, Saxon, go for that, uh, spinning thing. Damn. He should have he should have done that on that uh trash pile. I mean, not really trash pile, but like weapon pile. Could have uh, could have signed him in that. Maybe even got the pin. Um, you just gotta watch out for that no joke though. That uh that giant frog splash that Saxon does. That's what put Kenny away. Of course, Kenny was only half Saxon's size. So. Oh, looks like he's going for that choke. Oh, but never uh Saxon had that scouting. And everybody's gonna have to watch out though, because Saxon is a big guy. He can't take him on. He's gotta finish this guy off. Looks like, yeah, he looks like he wants to slam him on that. I don't think he. Yeah, he didn't really get it though. Because, like I said, Nibber's bad at judging the distance of his. Like, he, you know, he uh, overshot his jumps. Oh, I think Nibber just got slammed stomach first into that all that jump. That's gotta hurt. And Saxon takes advantage of that fact and goes for the pin. Only one count. It probably would have uh, at least got a two count. But the fucking ref is, uh, wasn't so fucking slow anymore. But uh, choking, kind of a bill toss. And let's see. Looks like never. See, he's, he's trying to judge distance, but he's not getting it. Oh, but slammed right on that arm. He's gonna get his arm broken or something. It, it wouldn't be the first time either, because he had that match with Bobby. Or not match with Bobby, but Bobby broke his arm backstage. Yet. Few months ago. Anyway, oh shit. Uh, Saxon's signaling for something. He's taunting. Oh, he just speared uh, down. Uh, just tackled down Nibber. Uh, this could be all. Yeah, look. No, not. He got fucking slow ass red. Yeah. Uh, you know, somebody needs to deliver a message to Dressed to fire these fucking reds. Oh, looks like he's going for that top rope uh, thing. The uh, walking ropes. And drops the arm. Of course, that signature never right there. And well, speaking of dress up, he's actually had a some. Oh, well, fuck it. We'll talk about never now because he might be going for. He might be trying to end this match right now. <laughs> well, never mind. I think he was thinking about choke slam, but he just hit him with the title belt. I, I guess he knew Saxon might have it scouted. One, two, three. It's over. You gotta watch out for uh, never. Well, that's the end of XSW Staff Fest. So three matches are up. Never, I think, 9 and 1. I believe that's right. 9 and 1. Okay, good record. I'll, I'll see you later. Jack Hoffman. I'm peace, peace out, dudes.